we're in my hallway now, and I appreciate an opportunity to say a little bit more about my art collection. One of the things that I mentioned earlier is that for the last several years, I've been interested in folk art by African-American women. And so here we have uh, two pieces. I'll start with this one by art artist by the name of Margaret Leonard, who was an older black woman who I believe got started in art later in life. And this was my second piece that I acquired from uh, of Margaret Leonard. I was really happy to be able to find it online to someone who had bought it a few years ago because I don't think there are that many pieces uh, of hers out there and it's an original piece. And this was my, my first piece of Margaret Leonard. And this piece is called uh, Shucking Corn. And as you can see, uh, the date there says 1217, so December 2017. And I just love it. It's just a beautiful piece that I purchased at a gallery in New Orleans. And from what I understand is one of uh, her first gallery pieces that, that sold. And so I just love the art of these, um, these uh, black women folk artists, especially of these older black women. For some reason, some of these folk artists who are black women tend to be older. And I don't know if that's an appeal to me or if it just endears them to me even more, but I just love the art. And there are two more that I'd like to show you and then we'll be finished. Okay. All right. We'll follow you. Thank you. All right, welcome to one of my guest rooms. And guess who stay in this room uh, are treated also to some more folk art by African-American women. And uh, this piece, as you see here, it says Bean Plantation is by folk artist Bertha Harris, who lives in Shreveport, Louisiana. And I actually visited her home uh, where uh, she has a space in her home uh, where she keeps her art. So it's, it's kind of a, a studio. And it's significant that it says bean plantation because much of her art actually depicts life on that plantation. And here's the interesting thing, where she lived until 1950. And so we tend to think of plantation life as ending in the late 19th century uh, after slavery was abolished. But vestiges of slavery actually continued um, for another century. But also, where were some of these people supposed to go? This is, this is all they knew. And so they became tenants uh, and then sharecroppers and so on. And so Miss Harris um, um, stayed on this plantation, her family, until 1950, which is really going to be astounding to some people. And this is a piece by uh, Dorothy Shelby. I actually um, bought this and um, promised Miss Shelby that I was going to send her a picture once I hung it and I actually failed to do that. I should, I should do that and send it to her. And this is another older African-American folk artist. And again, as you can see, a depiction of African-American life uh, with, with a religious scene, religious architecture and religious aesthetics. Of course, look, look how the folks are, are dressed um, in the painting. I mean, it reminds me in some ways of my grandmother when I look at, at these, uh, at, at the scene, uh, my grandmother, who was born actually in East Texas, um, it was a picture of her in a, in a dress. And that was her only good dress, Dwayne. And the interesting thing is she said that was her Sunday dress. So while they may have been poor, uh, didn't have much, she had one good dress. And that dress was her, let's, let's just say her going to church dress, right? Uh, as we could envision, uh, even in a, a piece of art like Dorothy Shelby's here. And so I appreciate the, the opportunity to, to talk about some of these pieces as you, as you have seen, I have many more, but these, um, these pieces of folk art uh, by these African-American women in particular uh, are, are, are really special for me. And we thank you very much for taking this into your home and sharing all this with us, uh, Dr. Finley. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for being my guest. And this has been Dwayne with Better Than a Lecture.